Guys, so many of you have been asking me how do I get better at Warzone 2? So this video is going to be a no-nonsense breakdown of how to get on top and how to see improvements in your gameplay fast. Now, it really doesn't matter what your current skill level is. Unless you're a god-tier CDL champ, then you're probably going to pick up some tips and tricks from this video. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is your aim. It doesn't matter how good your game sense is or your map knowledge. If you can't hit your shots, then you're not going to win engagements. Now, I've played FPS titles from being a kid, and I've always played on high sense. Here's how to find out exactly what your sense should be and improve your aim quickly. Head over to the firing range with a weapon of your choosing. Now the goal here is going to be to drop the targets as quickly and as accurately as possible. So I want you to practice snapping and firing to each target. If you find yourself over snapping, then your sense is probably too high. If you're under snapping, then you can likely raise your sense a little. Now it won't be perfect straight away as playing on a new sense is always a learning curve. That being said, once you've found your sense near enough, off, you can practice in the firing range whilst queuing for your games. Another great place to practice your aim is during the prep phase. So rather than sitting AFK scrolling through TikTok, you can be getting your eye in by practicing beaming people out of the sky and even getting in close range intense engagements. Now this is probably the biggest tip on this list that has helped me improve the most in Warzone and that is do not stack on your teammates. You will see squads of three to four guys all running round together. This is a strength in numbers strategy and if four of you run into a building all shooting at one guy then how exactly are you going to improve from that readjust your gameplay style remember you are on a path to become the apex predator on the battlefield you alone are going to push entire squads and by doing so i will guarantee you two things Number one, I guarantee you will die, lots. But number two, I guarantee that you, for every death, you will learn something from that engagement that makes you a better player. Game Sense. Now, Game Sense covers a variety of things, such as when to push teams, when to back out of fights, when to peak angles, or even when to ego chal opponents. These are all things that you can't learn overnight, but you can continuously improve on in each game. And over time, you will develop a heightened Game Sense. Map Knowledge. Now, map Knowledge is incredibly important for winning gunfights and outplaying opponents. You need to know every inch of your hunting ground if you're going to outmaneuver and outclass the other players in the lobby. Now one way that I always learn new maps inside and out is each night when I hop online I'll drop in a new location and I'll keep dropping there until I can survive 90% of the drops and gunfights. Now this will do two things. Number one, it increases your familiarity with that area of the map, for example jump spots, loot spawns, etc. Number two, it will get you a feel for fighting in that location which will always give you an advantage in the future. If you know your surroundings better than your opponent, you already have an advantage over them. Movement. Now, movement in Warzone 2 is a little different as there isn't a massive amount of fluidity to the game. Now, what we're aiming to achieve while playing is a flow state. Now, a flow state is where you are at peak confidence when playing. You're hitting all your shots, timing your fights well, and there's a way of getting into this. For me, I tend to YY spam whilst moving, doing fast weapon switches. Most people simply believe this looks flashy, but I actually use it to keep my fingers warmed up during the match and to keep me inside of my flow state. This can then be combined with further movement techniques such as diving, 360 diving, sliding, closing doors, looting, etc. Once you put these mechanics together, you can enter a lovely rhythm that heightens your confidence. Door plays. Now, door plays are an advanced movement mechanic, and to do this successfully, you're likely going to want to have a controller with back paddles on. This is going to make it a lot easier, but essentially, as you're traversing the map, make sure that if you go through a door, close it behind you. Turn this into a muscle memory, and you'll find yourself doing it in the midst of gunfights and close range engagements. Now, closing a door sounds simple, but this turns the tide of battle. If you're caught out in a room and you can escape closing a door behind you, you immediately break the line of sight with your pursuers. This then gives you the advantage. This gives you options including run away from the attacker, reposition and re-engage the attacker, or at a certain skill level you'll want to ego child back through the door catching them off guard. Up next this is a crazy simple setting that I see so many people not turning off and that is the parachute auto deploy. Make sure that you aren't one of the bots in the prep phase pulling their parachute 40 meters from the ground. By disabling this, you can practice pulling your shoot at the very last second, meaning you will never get beamed out of the sky again. And it also lets you aggressively descend on people and catch them off guard. Perks. Now, perks are crazy important for keeping you alive in the heat of battle. Many players opt to run ghost and high alert to play more submissively, and that's not what we're going to do. We're going to, of course, drop on double time for that extra sprint time to keep us moving and grooving. Adding in overkill. Although we're in a pistol, 
pistol meta right now, that won't always be the case, and we always want to whip out our SMG to deal damage when needed. Fast Hands is our third perk and my favourite. This increases just about all mobility aspects of the game, from throwing knives faster to reloading quicker and switching weapons alike our boss. Fast Hands is vital for keeping you in that flow state that we previously mentioned. And last but not least, we have Quick Fix. Now this perk is truly a lifesaver. If you finish a downed enemy, your health will begin to regen immediately, which allows you to be hyper aggressive in 1vx situations. When you kill an enemy and he screams, oh, he's one shot, he's one shot, to his team, but you are already full health from Quick Fix. Last but not least, make sure you're always using meta loadouts, as this will keep you ahead of the competition, or at least on a level playing field. This one is super easy to achieve, and all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and tune into my daily class setups to make sure that you have the best loadouts in the game. Now guys, I really hope that you found this video useful and you can begin to learn from these tips. Try and have fun with the game while staying sweaty. If you did learn anything, then make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We're just getting started on here and we've got daily content using the best class setups and hilarious shorts for you to tune into.